All right, so I'm over here at my brother's house for uh, Thanksgiving, and uh, uh, like I posted up with my buddy's uh, 91 K5 Blazer, I'm kind of running out of videos uh, to post up of my own little project, so I'll just shoot some uh, video of uh, my friend's toys. And uh, this here is my brother's uh, 2005 Toyota Tacoma uh, SR5 four-wheel drive uh, that he's got decked out. It's kind of muddy, as you can see. He and his uh, fiance just got back from a uh, camping trip the weekend before. He still has his tent, as you can see there, mounted uh, in the bed. Uh, I just wanted to shoot some uh, video of this truck. This truck's actually really unique. Um, the original owner was the ARB Corporation, or at least ARB North America, out of Washington State. And they outfitted this truck. So they were the ones who put this bumper on here. Uh, this right here, I'm just covering up the license plate with a old rag, uh, so don't worry about that. And uh, so they put the ARB, their bumper on there, and it's got a worn winch deep down inside there. My brother says the 9500 uh, TI winch. And uh, they put on these uh, IPF uh, Extreme Sport lights, and uh, when my brother got it, he actually thought, I'm sorry, it's a 9500 XP winch right there on top. Anyway, he thought that these, they were, that somebody screwed up because you can see this lens has a diffuser in it while this one's totally clear. And he, he called ARB and they said, no, we put those on there like that for a reason. One is effectively a spotlight and the other is more of a floodlight. So you get, you kind of get both. So, uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, and it does have ARB lockers, both uh, front and rear. Since it's an independent suspension, it's hard for me to get under there and show you the uh, airline under there uh, on the front differential, but I can certainly find it back here, I think. I think that's it right there, that clear tube. Clear tube runs right down to the differential. Let me see if I can reposition for a better shot. And there, come around to the front of the third member, and uh, there you can see the uh, air line going into the differential for the air lockers. So, pretty muddy under here. Uh, he does use it. It is his daily driver, and uh, and he does wheel it, and it does extremely, extremely well. So aside from the uh, the things that ARB put on there, and I should also mention they put, uh, put on a. Uh, Two and a half inch Old Man Emu, which is their brand, uh, two and a half inch lift. The man that my brother bought this truck from had these Slee uh, rock sliders put on. So my brother is actually the third owner of this vehicle. And uh, he actually won this tent at a uh, Toyota Jamboree out in East Texas. He was the winner. So we fabricated up this. Uh, the stand here in the bed is just some uh, square tubing welded together, real simple. He put some mounts here on the side for uh, his high lift jack. These are just hockey pucks, drilled a hole through, and the bolt goes all the way through the inside to mount the high lift jack. And some other little studs on this side for a, uh, uh, I believe, a shovel, things like that. And let's see, he also came in here and he plumbed this line here. This runs from the air compressor. It's just a typical uh, quick connect fitting for an air hose so you can air up tires and whatnot. And last thing he added was this functional snorkel here. And we kind of give him hell for it because, you know, this is mainly his daily driver, so he doesn't really need a snorkel in the middle of Dallas. But. Nonetheless, it's there, it's cool. And uh, so yeah, and I'm gonna show you a few cool things, a few more little cool things. These stickers right here, he wanted to get some more uh, made up, or he wanted to order some more, I should say, from ARB. And uh, they don't really produce these. These are unique to the vehicles that they buy and put their products on as a, basically a showcase. So they don't have these stickers just 
laying around like an ARB sticker that you would get if you were in an air locker or a bumper or something that they throw it in the box. These are these are, are uh, unique to their vehicle. So uh, unfortunately, you couldn't get any more of them. This one was kind of scratched up and so forth. And uh, so yeah, uh, let me show you a couple other cool things. And here's a couple of the uh, ARB product catalogs. We believe this one is a uh, a 2010 model catalog. This one's a 2008. But right here, this is that truck. We saw on the title and the Carfax report when he bought it that this truck was actually exported to Australia. And you can see this one's not photoshopped. It's left-hand drive and from my understanding they don't even sell uh, the Tacoma in Australia. It's a different body style and I think it's called the Hilux uh, or something to that effect. But this truck was built at their North American uh, headquarters up in Washington State and it was uh, exported to Australia and then re-imported back to the United States. And here's a couple more pictures of it in their catalog right here. All these pictures were taken in Australia as you can see that is not a US license plate I've never seen a state license plate looking like that one and Victoria my understanding is a a state or a county or something whatever it's called in Australia so come over here this is a later model it's the same truck but since they redesigned their bumper these little fog lights and uh, turn signal indicators were actually uh, photoshopped in but it's the same truck you see it's the same two pictures over on this side as the older catalog um, and obviously just by the body style it is a Tacoma um, but pretty cool this was a you know a factory built truck uh, to showcase their products and uh, turns out he got it so pretty cool pretty neat story and uh, just a really really nice clean truck that functions excellent I'll just get a few shots of the interior here you see right over here on to the left side of the steering wheel you can see the switches for the, uh, the air compressor the front and rear lockers and uh, that's about it other than that it's a pretty stock interior so just a real nice clean truck we'll just take a shot here of the uh, of the engine and uh, the air compressor you can see that here's the compressor for the air lockers um, one of these is front one of these is rear uh, I can't remember which and then of course like I showed you he's got this uh, quick connect air fitting here on the front so this yellow hose right here runs down and feeds the air uh, to that fitting and of course the uh, Optima yellow top battery uh, custom battery mount box that I welded uh, to the base to the uh, fender skirt there and uh, just some of the tubing over here for the uh, the snorkel just pretty basic tubing so yeah just a really cool really unique truck I just want to show you one more thing he's got it he's got the uh, award uh, and the winning tickets frame for that uh, ARB tent he's got on his truck and so one ARB Simpson tent uh, picking up a Toyota Dallas so cool and uh, anyway if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching